the Hallelujah Chorus. What a great way to start. That wasn't even the finale. Well, welcome to the Home for the Holidays online Christmas show. I am so glad you're watching. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, I play the piano, in case you're watching for the first time. And uh, the whole theme of this program is going to be Home for the Holidays. There is no place like home. So there'll be a lot of intimate moments and uh, special moments to remember. And uh, so to get you into the intimate feeling, let me play you this. Imagine you, there's a fireplace. You hear the crackle of the fire. And there's a piano sitting in front of the fireplace. The lights are dim. And I play.
one interesting fact that you may not know about me is that I'm actually quite a romantist. As I always like to say, I love to love. <laughs> but when I think of love, I think of two in particular love songs that stand out to me as the greatest love songs ever. One is Somewhere My Love, theme from Dr. Zhivago. And then the other one is Where Do I Begin, theme from Love Story. Two with the most beautiful melodies I've ever heard. So this Christmas, I decided to put those two together and call it a Christmas Love Medley. Not too sure how much connection they have with Christmas, but hey, I'm playing it at Christmas time. <laughs> so enjoy as I play for you a Christmas Love Medley. It is the season we're love.
If you're watching for the first time, you may not know this, but I actually started playing at the age of 13. And in August of this year, I celebrated three years playing the piano. In 2013, I was gifted a Casio piano from my grandmother, actually. And the first song I ever played was When the Saints Go Marching In <laughs> with One Finger. I may have missed a couple notes even doing that, but anyway. But then I found the gift they got it given me to play the piano. And I found my true passion, what I really like to do. And this next song is called My Favorite Things, and that perfectly describes what I love to do, performing and playing the piano. These are a few of my favorite things. Thank you. 
right now, I want to play a song that is perfect for these type of days. It's a simple song that simply says, Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin in me. For the next few moments, 
let's have a sing along. And these curls, you'll know these from your heart, basically. This is called the Carol Medley, and it starts off with joy to the world. Everybody sing to the top of their voices as we celebrate the birth of our Jesus Christ, the Savior. Here we go. First Noel, the angels did sing, everybody. Here we go. now everybody and over the hills and everywhere. Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Everybody now? Raise your voices.
Before I play the finale for you tonight, I would like to present to you what I believe to be the true meaning of Christmas. So if you would, before I play you the finale, would you mind if I share the story with you? Wonderful. In Luke 2, verse 7, it says, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. 
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in their field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring to you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swallowing clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel of multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill to men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even to Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they even came with haste, found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad these sayings which was told to them concerning this child. And all that they heard it wondered at these things which were told by them by the shepherds. But Mary kept these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all the things that they had heard and seen, as was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus. And that, my friends, is the story that you hear every single year at Christmas. But it doesn't end there. Oh no, he then grew up to form many miracles and to die on a cross for our sins. At Easter, we celebrate the resurrection. At Christmas, we celebrate the first advent. But soon the second advent will be happening when Christ will come again. When he comes again, it won't be in a lonely manger. When he comes again, it will be with a shout. But the question we must ask is, are we ready? You may ask, well, how do I get ready? Well, it's as simple as this. You simply have to ask him into your heart to forgive your sins. And when you do, you feel like a heavy rock has been lifted off from the top of you. And then you will feel the true joy, not only during this Christmas season, but throughout the whole year. But it's not always going to be easy. No, we all suffer. But the difference between suffering as a lost person compared to a saved person is we don't have some, we don't have to suffer alone. We always have someone to turn to. And ladies and gentlemen, not only that, but we also get to look forward when Christ comes again. So from the bottom of my heart, I believe that this is the true meaning of Christmas.
come on, let's leave tonight joyful and happy. Christmas and a Happy New Year!